Alright guys, today I'll be talking about a topic I haven't really talked about before on the channel until now. And this is Niagara Amusement Park, and we got a Scream Screamscape article discussing um, some of the new rides, some of the updates they've been doing to the park. And also, I'll be sharing some of my predictions for what I think will be coming to the park in the future. So, first off, let's dive into what we've got being pretty much, again, not confirmed, but we know this is pretty much happening. Um, we know they'll be... From this article that they'll be getting a scrambler, um, antique cars, a caterpillar ride, which I'm not exactly sure what that means, but um, I'm pretty sure I saw something like so this weird creepy caterpillar ride at the state fair one year that's like a kitty Himalaya almost, so that's probably what that is. And then the article also stated that they're doing work on Silver Comet, which is good since Again, I haven't ridden it in forever, but I remember it being a bit bumpy, so that'll, that'll be good. Get that smoother. Um, it didn't say anything about, like, the Wild Mouse Mind Warp was a favorite of mine. That was my favorite in the park, actually. I um, actually got to ride that when, like, the seats were flipping and that was at its full potential, so that was great. Hopefully that stays. Um, other rides, like, again, the train, we don't know. That's a mystery. And just other stuff... Um, that's still a mystery, like, even what else wasn't there that they're going to potentially add, so that's what we're going to dive into right now. Now, what's one thing, like, all these three rides in, had in common that the Screamscape article talked about is that they're all family rides, so Gene Staples, um, operates Indiana Beach and Clemington Park, which I consider kind of more family parks, so, again, I don't think this park's Gonna get anything like too extreme um it's gonna be more of a family park i feel like kind of like a along the lines of sea breeze kind of contest with so i think they'll announce a few other like family kind of attractions like a music express tilt a whirl pirate ship stuff like that and i think those are kind of givens to be announced for here um i think they'll get You'll have some sort of kitty coaster, wacky worm, dragon wagon, something like that. Um, some other kitty rides like kitty drop tower, balloons, other stuff like that. Um, and then for thrill rides, I'd suspect for thrill rides, they keep Devil's Hole, which was their Gravitron. Reason being, um, that's an indoor ride that can operate in any weather. That's a good one to always have around. Um, as much as this hurts to say, I don't think Mind Warp will be returning, which even with counting Silver Comet was my favorite ride at the park. Um, loved that thing, but I don't know. It's It seemed really technical, um, which, and like it was down a lot, like my visits I went there. So, I, I personally don't think Mind Warp will be returning, unfortunately. Um, the Star Flyer, I could see that staying for sure. Um, again, Star Flyer Ferris Wheel, I definitely think will stay because they're kind of like up at the front of the park. They're tall. Um, everyone sees them when they're walking by, so. Also, Star Flyer never really had any technical issues or anything, so I don't see a reason to not bring back Star Flyer. And also with Ferris Wheel, it's kind of already there. So, yeah, they're keeping that. Um, the only two that are kind of confirmed to stay are Ferris Wheel and Silver Comet, just because they're already there still. Um, and the last one I want to talk about for potential returners is the Wild Mouse. And this one's kind of 50-50. For now, I'm going to say yes. Um, but I could see it going either way, because I don't think people would really miss this Wild Mouse that much. I mean, it was a fun ride, um, definitely gave them an extra coaster in their coaster lineup, that's for sure. And, like, also, I don't really know what they would do there, like, other than that. And, yeah, you could say, well, they'd get another coaster, but you'll see in my prediction for what coaster I think they'd get would definitely not fit on that plot of land it's 
a very different footprint than that. So, that being said, let's get into my predictions for what kind of operating hours this place is going to have. And the operating hours, I think, is going to be pretty similar to Darien Lake. Um, do I think they'll bring back Fright Fest or whatever their version of it was? Yeah, I think so, because... I don't know, I think they're going to want to maybe compete with Darien Lake, is what Gene Staples' idea kind of is. So, I think they're going to be kind of the same operating hours as them. Maybe even open a little longer, who knows? Um, I think it's going to be open pretty long, um, for Western New York standards at least. Now, I know another big thing a lot of people have been talking about and staying is the show the wild west show in that sort of area and i think that definitely will stay it's a big part of the park it's still there all the buildings and stuff i believe um yeah all those are there and, and like if it's run down or anything like they've already fixed so much i don't know why they would stop at their most iconic show plus um I know, like, a few of the, like, actors in that, like, are, would definitely come back for the show, but, I don't know, I, I think the show would stay, for sure, um, but now let's get into my predictions for what could be coming to the park in the future. Now, I know this is a pretty popular rumor, but for me, it just makes too much sense not to happen. If you don't know, from La Fria, Chapultepec, Mexico... There was this Schwarzkopf shuttle loop that um, apparently Gene Staples bought in a package deal with Chimera. And basically me and a bunch of other people are saying this Schwarzkopf shuttle loop from La Feria is going to um, Niagara Amusement Park. Um, and it could have gone to Clemington, but I don't think Clemington's in as desperate need of like a new coaster as um, Niagara is, so I think they'd give it to Niagara for sure. I definitely know Indiana Beach doesn't need a new coaster, that's for sure, especially compared to the other two parks in their chain. Um, so where would this stack up, like, in Buffalo? Like, I think it would definitely be at least top five at Darien Lake, maybe top three, who knows, maybe it could beat Tantrum, um, for third best at Darien Lake if it was there, so... Overall, I don't think it would get any of the people who, like, go to an amusement park, like, once a year to choose them over Darien Lake, but for someone like me, like, it would be an excuse to go back out to Fantasy Island and give it a try, especially because it's kind of a rare coaster, like, especially since Knott's Berry Farm's closing Montezuma for a year, so definitely a rare coaster model, so definitely get out here if they are adding it to... Niagara to try it out um and again it's a really thin plot of land that these things sit on it's like the thinnest you can get so definitely wouldn't fit in that wild mouse plot and honestly maybe run it alongside kind of like that starflyer ferris wheel area like like if you run it alongside the the flat area of that like not the hillside but like kind of like where it flattens out and just run it along there i think that'll make for a great like visual like just walking down that midway seeing that thing take off so i think that'd be cool but overall those are my predictions and what we know for niagara amusement park um let me know what you guys think in the comments below make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time